How's everybody today? Who moved a step? And I've been walking up here. I was over here though, always before. I'm not. I don't. I don't respond well to change. Well, I think it's really important for um, you know our players to really stay focused on what we need to do as a team to get better. Pay attention to detail. Do the little things right. Uh, I think those things obviously uh, become more important when you play a good opponent, which we're certainly going to be challenged with, you know, this weekend, this Saturday when we play Texas A&M. You know, these guys are uh, have really good team speed, um, really put up big numbers on offense. They're playing really well on defense, and uh, we're going to have to finish, play better, stay more focused, be able to sustain in the game. Uh, for 60 minutes, and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll have a big game atmosphere in Bryant Denny Stadium where uh, the fans are into it and really help our team, um, you know, keep the emotional level um, in a difficult game uh, where it needs to be so that we can continue to persevere and, and execute for 60 minutes in the game and maybe have some effect on their ability to execute. So, um, we need to make our stadium an advantage for us this weekend, and I hope our fans really respond to that. Okay, Coach, we'll start in the middle with Michael. Yeah, just wonder, how did you like the, uh, the distribution of carries and receptions you've had so far with your offense? The distribution of? It's pretty equal in the distribution of carries and receptions. It's pretty, pretty equal. You're talking about with the running backs? And yeah, well, you know, we feel like we have three really good players. Uh, we want them all to contribute. Um, and I know that each one of those guys um, has contributed in a very positive way, and I'm sure that um, they all wish that they could have a few more carries. Um, but I'm sure as the season wears on, uh, they'll get plenty of football and plenty of opportunities. And I think what every player on our team needs to focus on is uh, improving, not necessarily your status or how many yards you gained or how many carries you got, but what kind of player am I when I play? Um, you know, do I play well? Because uh, basically that's what you're going to get evaluated on. And you need to be a complete player. Uh, that means you need to not only just carry the ball, but you need to block. You need to pass protect. You need to be a good pass receiver. There's a lot of things that make you a complete player that um, we feel fortunate with the guys that we have and the job that they do. Uh, but that's what they all need to stay focused on. As offense around college football and your all's offense has kind of changed over the years, have you recruited any different kind of offensive linemen or put more emphasis on certain attributes? No, we still think a good offensive lineman is what he's always been. Uh, someone who can be physical on the line of scrimmage and get movement and athletic enough to, you know, pass block and have the range to play on the edges and, you know, guys that have power and good balance inside so that we can get movement when we don't run the ball and athletic enough to be able to pass protect when we need to throw it. So uh, that really hadn't changed much for us. We'll stay over here with Tony. How have you been able to utilize uh, Irv Smith in the offense and how dangerous of a weapon can he be mismatch-wise? Well, Irv's a really good player. Uh, he's played well this year. He's, he does all phases of what we do well. You know, he's a good receiver. He's a good off-the-ball blocker. He's a good on-the-ball blocker. Um, and he's got really good hands, and he's you know good receiver, and he's fast enough to be a threat down the field. So uh, we have some weapons. He's one of them. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to utilize that because you know sometimes people lose that guy. Uh, the tight end is an easy guy to lose. Okay, coach, we've only got one more with Charlie here. Um, with Jeff Banks, how beneficial is it? to have him working with your kickers given his extensive experience as a special teams coordinator and the fact that he had, he also punted in college? Well, I, I think Jeff does a really, really good job for us. Um, you know, it was philosophically what uh, I wanted to do and one of the reasons that I promoted a 10th coach on the staff is uh, I thought whether it be specialists or just guys that play in a kicking game, had a real special teams coach and not just another coach who tried to coach special teams and try to learn about it. And Jeff is certainly that. You know, he views himself as a special teams coach. He does a really good job. Uh, the players respond well to him. Uh, he's got sound systems and schemes. And, um, 
you know, I, I think that it's been a really good addition to our staff, and I think we've had some production on special teams so far this year, and I think we've also left some out there with penalties and uh, some, you know, a couple missed assignments where we're one play away, one block away, or whatever from uh, having, you know, more production. Great, Coach. That's all we got tonight. Thanks. All right. Thank you.